right, getting ready to offset grind our 261 Cadillac job. So this crank happens to be out of a 235 Chevy 6. Stroke was uh, three inch 940 from the factory. And customer wants to go four and an eighth, all right? So what we're gonna do is to set this up. So we've got our stroke gauge set to four and an eighth, all right? So basically what I did is I brought this crank on our center line to set up to grind the mains. Then I ran that, and that's how I found my true zero. Then I brought this up uh, four and an eighth. So I'm offset, uh, which, well, half the stroke length. So four, two and a sixteenth, technically. Uh, but anyway, um, now I've got to index it in, okay? Well, when you stroke it, you know, we're moving the center line down here. I'm set up to grind, uh, uh, what, three and four. So, because they're both together. So let's check my offset here, since I can't, since I'm grinding a uh, offset grind here. So I expect it 180 degrees to be close to my zero. And I would say that I am pretty close to there. All right, I do not have an angle on my machine. Unfortunately, the storm does not have that. And we'll come back, moving the crank. And we'll lock it in. There we go. And I split the difference between these two. So I think we're set up and we are ready to offset grind this baby. Okay, gotta do a little math here before we do our offset grind. So I put some chicken scratch numbers down here. So we're using a 235 Chevy crank. The stroke was three inch 940 originally. Okay, the stroke we're after is four inch 125, right? So basically 187, or well, excuse me, 185,000. So basically not only three sixteenths more stroke is what we're gonna end up with. So we're trying to get 185,000 more stroke, all right? Well, our 235 rod pin originally, and this crank is still standard, is two inch 312, so two and five sixteenths. 292 rods, which we're using, okay, have a two inch 100 uh, rod pin. It's a traditional small block Chevy bearing, okay? Been used for everything 67 and up, right? Um, so we're gonna do a little math here. We're gonna go ahead and subtract, uh, to two inch 100 from that, that gives us, we got 212 thousandths, okay, that we're technically could take off, but with our stroke difference, okay, because if we subtract the 3940 from four inch 125, uh, that gives me a 27 thousandths cushion to get this right, okay, so I've got 27 thousandths here to deal with, so we'll see what happens. All right, I'm about ready to rock and roll here, we got the crank revolving, Let's see it's off center. So let's fire it up. Make some chips. And that's all I should be touching is the bottom side because I want to stroke. back. <laughs> Do a little offset grind here on our stove bolt 261, taking this 235 crank, making it four and an eighth stroke from three inch 940. Never hell. All right, just sparked out here. We'll back it off. top side so now we'll mic it and from here on out we'll get the steady rest in because we know that's probably like an egg since I didn't have a steady rest on it and we'll take it down to two inch 100. So I got it pretty centered in between. Let's check the width of the bearing here. Make it just a fuzz wider. Not much though. 
So I don't have any free play. It's up on the radius. All right, I got my Arnold gauge. I don't have a final set, but I just got my steady rest hooked up here. You can see it's like an egg. But we'll use the steady rest here and we'll get that straightened out here. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this up. And you'll watch that come in. set to 2 inch 110 which our Arnold gauge said 10 to go and it's pretty damn good the mic will stay it's right so we are really good there so our Arnold gauge is set nice and we will take her to the finished size of 2 inch 100 here alright here well we are down to 2 inch 100 here let's So, might be a little big, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and, it came out nice. Got good width here. Offset ground, gotta polish it obviously. But I'm gonna go ahead and torque up my bearing and uh, let's check our clearance because I can adjust it through the rest of the crank here. So, it might be easier to mess with the rods or something later. So let's go ahead and check it. All right, looks like we got about Two, two and a half clearance. That's pretty good. So that's what we're looking for, about two, something like that. So we'll uh, torque it up and grease to see how the uh, side to side action is. All right, plastic gauge in our rod here. Right about two thousandths, maybe just a shade under. So that's pretty good. I like two, just a street motor. Probably gonna need all the oil pressure it can get. <laughs> all right, we got our offset ground 261 Cadillac Stove Bolt 6 Chevy all done. So it came out nice. Got the oil holes chamfered. Or I think the clearance is right where we're gonna want it after polishing and so forth. So. So we'll see what happens. So of course on the 235, 261, 216, whatever, you gotta shim the mains anyway. So we'll have to check all the clearances regardless, but um, I'm pretty happy with the way this came out. So I got good side clearance. So it should be good to go. Neat old project. Going in a 52 Chevy.